Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna play with a bunch of new makeup and we're gonna create this look because I snapped. I snapped, no I'm joking. I really do like this makeup, I really like the way it turned out. We use a bunch of new products and I stepped out of my comfort zone a little bit with this big blue liner, which I hope you like, because I actually really do like it. I think it looks really cool. And that's it. If you would like to see how I created this look, then please stay tuned. Hello. Let's play with some makeup. Okay, so in front of me I have a bunch of new stuff, a bunch of stuff I've never used before, and there's a couple of things that I have used, okay, because that's what I've got. First thing we're going to do is use a new eye cream. I can't cope with the branding. This is Glossy, this is the new eye cream, it's called Bubble Wrap. Like just the fact it's called Bubble Wrap makes me love it. Here we go. Ah. Oh. So this is how I've seen people use it on their Instagram. I think it's mostly just a hydrator because they're saying to use it as an eye cream and a lip balm. Doesn't smell like anything. It's an eye and lip plumping cream. So I didn't know you could plump eyes, but now that I know that you can do that, I want to do it. Uh, and yeah, I just think the, the little can tube is really, really cool. So no, that feels nice. Uh, next I've got is a primer. This I am excited about. This is the Beauty Blender Selfie Shield and it's got an SPF of 38. 38, not 35, not 40, 38. And this is the dry oil primer. Now I absolutely love an oil. I'm gonna give it a wee shake just in case I'm meant to do that. It doesn't tell me to do that, but I'm gonna do it anyway. But I love oils, don't I? So let's just, oh, proper oil. And I like a SPF in my primer, so this is great. One stop shop. Imagine how nice that would be on your holidays. <gasps> Love the feeling of that. My only thought is, I wonder if it will make my makeup slidey. But look at that. Ooh. I think I would really like that on my holidays when I'm not wearing as much makeup, but let's see how the makeup applies. Okay, foundation today is the Dior Forever Skin Glow. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that Dior Forever foundation's been around, around a while. I think Dior Forever Skin Glow is a little bit newer. Now, this looks dark, but it's in the shade 4W and I did do a little test and it looked all right so let's take a few pumps of that in the back of my hand. It's called Glow which makes me think it's going to be glowy perhaps. So I'm going to see how it builds up. See this is the problem I have right, see compared to my chest that looks great. Let's just put this colour on and I can lighten it up with my concealer if I need to. Right over my lips. Mmm, I do feel like primer's a bit oily, but it's a dry oil primer, so is that my fault? <laughs> I'm just using my little It Cosmetics Heavenly Lux Complexion Perfection Brush. And we're buffing that in. Whoa. I don't know whether to call myself dewy or oily, you know? I'm gonna use a little mirror just to see how we're looking. Oh, my hands even feel oily. Oh, but it does look bloody gorgeous. I wonder if we powder it down, it'll look nice still. Foundation's looking like skin, which is really nice. Definitely a dewy foundation, but you know, the oil might be just making it extra specially dewy. I know some of you guys love skin like I do, like I really like the look of this. Some of you guys might think I look a little bit greasy. Colour looks quite dark for me. I think that does blend. I wonder, maybe my concealer will lighten it up enough. I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Ginger, which usually kind of matches my skin tone quite nicely, but I am rather tanned at the moment. I'm just back from Mexico. I got a nice tan when I was there, so it's quite light on me now, but I think I'm just going to use little amounts. Yes, that's a little amount. And I'm just going to use it to add a little bit of coverage in the centre of my face. Also just kind of lighten these areas up a little bit just because I think the foundation's really nice. It blends nicely, but it's just a wee touch too dark for me at the moment, but that's fine. I'm going to just blend that in and hopefully that should just make it the perfect colour for me. Because I really do like the way it's looking. Do you know another thing you can do as well is just add a little bit of the lighter concealer just at the jawline. I don't mind if my cheeks are a little bit more bronzed than normal because I usually put bronzer on anyway. Let's blend that concealer in. Wow, that looks like really nice holiday skin. I'm looking a wee bit less oily. Maybe the foundation's settling a little bit. Let's just get these under eyes. That looks really lovely up close. The skin looks really nice, but I will say that I am extra specially dewy. Okay, this powder I'm excited about, but it's quite strange. This is quite strange to me. Look how oily I've got it from literally having that primer on my hands. Give it a good old wipe on the jeans. This is the new Marc Jacobs Instant Blurring Beauty Powder in the shade 52 Siren. This is the colour, but look at this for a trick. Wow. It's got a brush. So let's use the brush, pick up some powder. And we're just going to apply it to our centre areas. 
and right round our mouth. Wow. It's matting me down a little bit. I'm going to use my usual brush just to see if there's a difference. I think that this little guy is going to be better for touch-ups. Like you just slide it back in. Whoa. I do like a brush. Just straight off the bat, I think this is better for handbags. I think that to actually set my face, I prefer maybe a loose powder. I know I've been using the Maybelline powder a lot. This one, the Fit Me powder. I love this for setting my face, but I think that that one would be really, really good for touch-ups on the go. This is the Hula Caramel. So Hula bronzers have been about forever, but Benefit have just released two new shades. They've got Hula Caramel, which is deeper. It is the, I actually don't know what I did without this. Um, I love it. If you are on the kind of warmer side and you use Hula already, you will absolutely love this for a bronzer and then toasted is a shade darker again it's for deeper skin tones but yeah i'm going to use hula on my cheeks and i'm going to use my little smith 118 brush oh, like look at that literally the dream i was just recently away and it was actually with benefit we went to Holbox, which is an island off of mexico because of hula and it comes in a box hall box and i literally lived in this bronzer so i have actually used this quite a lot but i've never talked about it on my in one of my tutorials before and something i like to do is just bring that kind of onto the cheeks a little bit around my hairline i really wish that this came in the jumbo size we've got given where is it oh i don't know we've got given a huge version of the normal hula like the original hula and i so wish that i had a huge version of this one benefit if you're watching please. Isn't that nice? I'm bring it down my chin. But yeah, I've just been living my, my tan fantasy. I love it. I was sunbathing so much. I am a huge sun worshipper and yes, I know it's bad for my skin. I think it's been a Scottish thing. We all absolutely love being in the sun and I say we all, not all of us do, but loads of people I know love the sunshine and as soon as we get any of it, we're all out like this. Please. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go with the total bronzy theme today, so no blusher today because we're doing something quite loud on the eyes, I think. But I have got a new highlighter to try. You might know it straight away going by the packaging. So this is from Lunar Beauty, which is Manny MUE's brand, and this is Moon Prism Powder, and this is in the shade Venus, which is a kind of goldy shade, and I'm really excited to try this. But I just think the packaging is beautiful. Really cool. I'm going to just apply that with my usual highlight brush. That is a nice colour. Okay, so this is like a blinding highlight. Really nice. I swear, guys, see, since I started using that Uli Henriksen toner, this one, my second bottle, it's nearly finished. Since I started using this, every highlight goes on my skin like bing. Icing on a cake. Love it. That's really nice. Let's do my cupid's bow. It's definitely a, like golden, golden. Really good if you've got a tan. Beautiful. Wowie. A little bit goes a long way. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I still feel like I'm super glowy. I actually do not have any new setting sprays, so I'm going to go in. Where is it? This is the All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm just going to douse my skin in that. Yes. I feel like that was quite an easy base routine. That was nice, nice and quick. And I really like the way all those products are looking. Really good. And I wanted really, really glossy skin today, which is just perfect. Okay, now that the skin's done, I'm going to zoom you in and let's do our papers. So for eyes, I'm really excited because we're going to do a brown smoky eye. No, I'm kind of half joking. So I've got this new palette from Dior. This is the Backstage, Dior Backstage. I remember when all these came out, I was so excited because I just think they look super easy to use. I like this because you've got enough cool shades in there to make it something a little bit different. So I'm actually going to use the base that comes in the palette. This is the Dior Backstage Eye Palette in 001 Warm Neutrals. So even though it's got cold warm neutrals, I see this one's warm. I think that these ones are really nice and taupey and cooler toned. So we're going to actually use the primer that's in the palette first. I'm going to use a flat brush. Oh, there's no mirror in this, which is fine, but it's worth noting. Kind of like a really sheer concealer. And I'm just packing that on with a little flat brush. And I feel like you can actually blend it, not like the P. Louise where you have to kind of pack it on. I feel like this one you can kind of blend out with the brush. Oh yeah, and it's not oily. It doesn't feel oily at all. Is it creasing? 
tiny wee bit but all we do there is get a powder brush that's got some excess powder on it and I'm just going to stamp that away sorry my head's all over the shop so for the shadows I just want a nice kind of cool brown smoke nothing too crazy okay so we're going to go in with this colour here in the corner it's like a nice taupe and I'm just doing a basic kind of smoky eye to start and I'm just blending that right in the crease Oh cool, it looks like grey on me. And then I'm going to go in with this one here, which is in the bottom corner. It kind of looks like the darkest matte in the palette. And I'm just going over everything, making sure it's super blended because I do want this to be quite soft on top. It's so weird working with not warm shadows. I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is literally just the lightest matte shadow. And we're going to pack that on all over the lid because I do want it to be nice and matte. And this is a good way to make sure everything's matte and nothing's going to go anywhere. There we go. They're really easy, easy shadows. I just need to make sure that we're nice and all matte. Okay, this is the bit I'm really excited for. This is one of the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Colours. This is actually in the shade Azure and it's really amazing blue, okay? So it's matte blue. So I don't have a palette with any new blues in it. So I've reached for my Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions. This guy here, I've used it quite a lot. I think that these little palettes are so perfect. I'm super lucky that they were all sent to me, but see, as soon as I want to do a colorful eye, I just go to one of these, one of the little gem palettes. They're so great. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my big caviar stick and I'm gonna go under the eye. Whoa, look at that. I'm gonna take one of Kaylee's little brushes. This is the SK04. And I'm just gonna really gently buff that out with the dark blue in the corner. <gasps> wow, be careful. That's crazy. They are creamy. Whoa, that transferred quickly. I actually think I'm going to go back in with my Dior palette into the little taupe shade to help blend that out because that's mental. Oh, I'm glad you guys. I really wanted to do this big blue look. Maybe I'll still do it. Oh, I don't know. So those pencils are really creamy. It's the same one. I've used these before and it's never been that creamy before. I'm going to try what I was going to do anyway because I want to see if it would work. I'm basically going to use this to make a blue wing. I'm going to use a tiny little Smith Angle brush. This is a 203. And the way I'm going to work is just picking up the product on this and then I'm just going to sketch out a wing. Cool. Now I'm happy I did that. No regrets. And one of my new favorite things is when I'm doing my liner, I kind of hold my eye open when I'm sketching out. So look, if you look like this, I've got my eye open and I'm going to sketch over my crease and it gives a really cool shape. I think this would look amazing if you had blue eyes. Green and blue for me, I like it, but I do always think it contrasts quite a lot. Wow, that's really fun. And then yeah, I'm just gonna keep on going in and having a little play around with this until I'm happy with it. I think we could go a wee bit bigger. Let me just do this, okay? We're gonna look at the pigment also. Wow. I'm gonna leave that there to cook and see if it sets because I actually feel it. I think it's setting on my eyes already, which is good. I do not want it going anywhere. Isn't that cool, you guys? I want to make it a little bit grungier. Maybe I'm gonna go in my waterline with this. Oh yeah, that's better, look. I'm going to go back in with my little buffer brush and I'm going to go in with this blue again. I'm almost going right over the waterline with eyeshadow, which feels a little bit uncomfortable, but then it does just set it all right into place. And I feel like we can buff it out a little bit more. So I'm going to go in with that dark blue. I really want a in our corner. So I'm going to go back in with the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Powder in Venus. Oh yeah, apply that to the inner corner. Bring that up slightly. And a wee bit on the brow bone. And I actually, I'm not going to put any above the brow today because I am glowing. I am kind of glowing today, you guys. 
kind of glowing. Lashes I'm going to use, I don't have any new ones. I'm going to use my Tatty Lashes in TL3. I think these will be nice and dramatic with the look. Obviously, we've gone for quite a, a loud look. For mascara, I'm actually going to use one. I bought this ages ago and then put it away and totally forgot about it. This is the Pat McGrath Fetish Mascara. I bought this because of the campaign on Instagram because it looked amazing. So let's see if it's good. I actually have never used this but the branding for this campaign was just so cool. The video where the eye and then it would rip and it would be the eye with mascara. Do you know what I mean? Mmm. I'm expecting good things. It's nice, but I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's just like a good, it's a good mascara, but I think that um, I like my, actually my Maybelline ones better. My Lash Sensational that I use from Maybelline is amazing and it just does not go anywhere. I don't know how this wears yet, but my Maybelline one is definitely just as good as that. So save your dollars. Yeah, those lashes work with this. Wow, this is the most makeup I've had on in ages and I love it. Okay, finally managed to get my eyelashes stuck to my eyeballs. I'm going to shut off camera really quickly and do my brows and then I'll be right back. Ta -da. Okay, I'm losing me out. For someone that doesn't wear much colour, I think this is really cool. The only thing I would say is that the primer, I really think, has made me quite oily and because of that, my eyes are transferring more than normal, so that's why I've had to blow it out so much. Lucky thing is, I really like big blown out eyes. So there's that. And you guys know me, I never really have to powder this much, but uh, I just want this makeup to stay on. <laughs> God, I like it. I love the way my skin looks, I just think that my makeup's kind of sliding around more than normal, so adding a wee bit more powder I've found. For our lips, I'm literally just going to chuck on some of the Seaside. This is one of the new Velour Extreme Matte Lipsticks, this is in the shade Seaside. It's by Laura Mercier. Scribble some on my lips. As you can see, it's a super light peach, but just apply a little bit and pat it in. Oh, I wasn't going to apply any lip liner, but I'm going to have to. Okay, let's do Boldly Bare by MAC. Oldie but goodie. Sorry guys, loads of you guys are going to go mad at me because this isn't actually loads of new products. Still going to call it play with, with no makeup though. <laughs> and I just realised this is not boldly bare. This is stripped down. Nice. See how much bare that is? Just a little tiny bit of lip liner. So guys, that is the finished look. I forgot about our little test. Shall we? Shall we try it out? Yeah, it does smudge. <laughs> Honestly, the other pencils that I've got from Laura Mercier do not smudge that badly, but that guy really did. But I've done my eye makeup now and it's been on for a little while and it's not going anywhere anymore. But I do think that the combination of the super oily primer, which if you are a like no makeup wearer or you just like chucking on a little bit of foundation, I think it would look really good. Wearing this and then heavy makeup for me is a no-go. I will still use it when I'm on holiday and stuff, but I would I would not use this under a lot of makeup ever again. <laughs> And also, the Laura Mercier caviar sticks are unbelievable. I love the shimmers, I love the mattes. I've done this exact thing with the Coco brown pencil, the same as this, but the brown, and it totally stayed put, but underneath my eyes, this was just super creamy. I wonder if it's like a different formula from the brown or something. I still really like it, but just make sure that you set it with a powder underneath your eyes. When I created my flick, it's still totally intact, so not bad, not bad at all. I had loads of fun playing with new makeup with you guys. Um, let me know if you want me to keep doing videos like this, maybe once a month or something, we can look at some new makeup together. And yeah, other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye! Also, who's proud of me for wearing blue? Just saying. Complexion for... I'm glowing. For bronzer, I have you... I am dewy. I'm way dewy. What the heck? Please don't break. Please don't break. Phew. Craziness. Okay. Oh. And we're done. Do you like it? No, I'm joking. That's flipping insane. <laughs> no, I'm nervous. I pick it up so I look cross eyed there. <laughs> oh, great. Well, that's not dry yet. I cannot stick this wig to my eye. <laughs> <laughs>